Hello again. This is the video that I said was going to create. So those of you that could know how to, to make a signature file, a transparent signature file to drop on any document using the Formulate Pro, you get a document that you need to sign, whether it's a job application or a legal form from your attorney or anything that needs to be signed, a contract or even a lease from an apartment, you use Formulate Pro to fill in the information, but you're going to have to have a signature down in the signature box, so when you email it back and they print it out, it has your signature on it. What I've done here is I'm using a program on an iPhone called Brushes. Now, what Brushes does is it allows you to do paint art and finger art on your screen. What I've done is I set the background to white, and I use the black for the design of the name, the signature, but we have to adjust this file so it's transparent. We'll work on the documentation can be imported as an image into Formulate Pro to sign a document. So what we've done is we have this here created with brushes, and then once it's created with brushes, you can email it to yourself. Now we're going to need to adjust this file where we can work with it. So we'll rotate the canvas. 90 degrees clockwise. We are working in Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS4. I'm sure that they all, the selections in the menus are similar. You want to use your magic wand tool and you want to click in the area, go to select and inverse so all you have is just the signature being selected. Then you want to go and you want to, out of your edit menu, you want to select cut. Then go to File, Start a New, make sure that the background content is set to Transparent, hit OK, go back up to your menu, and select Paste under Edit. Now as you can see, there's transparency, but there's still some white left because some of these areas were closed off and the wand tool didn't work that way, so we're going to use it again in each area, and we're going to cut the white out of each area so that we can have transparency all the way through the signature file so whenever we place it on a document whatever's on the document can be seen through it just like a signature as if you just was to sign the paper I'll show in just a minute how that works once you get all of the white areas cut out of your signature then you want to save this file as a PNG file. PNG is uh, what I've been using. I'm sure there's others. Uh, it just seems to be the one that works best with the transparency and you save that file. I have done so and I have it right here. And that is the transparent signature. Now we're going to load Formulate Pro. We're going to open a document, a contract PDF. We'll use the that We'll open it. Then we're going to go up into the menu and we're going to place image. We're going to grab our signature PDF file or PNG file rather. We're going to resize it. Now see how all the lettering on the document comes through the signature? It looks like a real signature. You can stretch, sign, whatever. Bend it to however it looks like your signature and simply drop it on the signature line. Click off of it. This is how you sign documents. You save this by using the print option. You print it, you show PDF, save as a, an Adobe PDF, and it's going to process that file, and once it processes that file, it will be viewable by any Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat creator and then you can send an email back to the sender and you can attach that form and it's signed. It's a signed document. This has worked for me many times. It saved me a lot of uh, time and trouble and gas and other things. And here is an example of that created PDF file so you can see how it will look on a document once it's emailed back to the recipient. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my video. There will be more on Formulate Pro. 